Bone 23 videos. Are you ready? Let's go! Wait, 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 not so fast. Before we can do this, there is a long way ahead. And I mean, really, a really, really long way. Now, I have revisited the wonderful work of Major Slack, who provided us with the ability to really play and enjoy Skyrim, because this guy studied Skyrim like no one else did before him. The gameplay, the locations, the mechanics. I watched his two-handed warrior build and his pure Nord build for inspiration, but unfortunately they were only a minor help, because he was not playing on survival mode and he was not playing the anniversary edition. And these two things change everything. To create a two-handed pure Nord warrior that can actually survive on legendary survival difficulty, I needed a different approach. Especially because soups are not working for me anymore. They do not regenerate health. Not a single point. Nothing. So we have to play with the deck we have and make it worthwhile. This is our heroine, Freya Wolfclaw. A pure and true Nord, only allowed to put perk points into one-handed, two-handed, block, smithing, light armor and speech. And I will not put a single perk point into one-handed. We are playing with these rules. We are using great swords, only basic archery, basic alchemy. Combat will be solo. We will avoid crime, no magic, no enchanting and no shield. And of course, no cheating or exploits, no punch shopping. We are playing on legendary survival difficulty at all times. Now these are a lot of rules for our little Nord, but it was her idea to use only two-handed swords. I am not Major Slack, and this is not a walkthrough, this is a playthrough of a challenge. I will play the game to the best of my abilities and try to keep us as pro as I can and as the master has taught me. Enjoy! I'm sorry. At least you'll die here, in your homeland. Follow the captain, prisoner. Let's keep the intro very short. Freya wanted to get her first Bidenhander. Some shifty imperial merchant in Cyrodiil told her she would get one as a reward for delivering a satchel across the border to Skyrim. Innocent and naive as she was, she failed to cross the border unseen, was captured and delivered to Helgen. You know the rest. What in oblivion is that? Sentries, what do you see? It's in the clouds! Dragon! And I need a great sword, so of course I'm going with Hadvar. And that's the plan. Get the iron great sword. Get five levels in two-handed. Looks like we're the only ones. Stay with Hadvar. He will protect you. The bring us of the end times. We should keep moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. There you go. Take a look around. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. All right. I'm going to see if I can find something for these. Books. I haven't decided yet if I want to support the Empire or the Nords, even though I'm a Nord. But you better get that armor on. Give that's that a weird the course they're on. Let Keep moving. That thing is still out there. Yep. Did I miss anything? Yeah. Come on, this way. Hear that? Storm cloaks. Maybe we can reason with them. Now you're mine. Hold up. We only want dogs. I want the two-handed sword as quickly as possible. 
the great sword. The iron great sword. Huh? What was that? Come on. Death to the Empire! Death to the Empire! Oh. He had one too. I didn't look. You can't beat me. Which one? This one. Damn you! Finish this! You call yourself a no already more. It's just nothing. Oh, you got Let's see what you got. No more. That's the weapon I want. Drop this. Use this. And as you can see, on legendary difficulty, you hardly do any damage at low levels. We have to be very, very careful. Don't think you have anything I want. Where are you going? Come on, let's go. Look. Garlic, yes. I will do a little alchemy. Just for healing potions. And regenerate health potions. Because that is the real issue here. Two-handed attacks mean close combat. Close combat means Freya will get hit and there is no health regeneration in survival mode. Without a healing spell, she will have to constantly use potions. And there aren't enough potions in Skyrim. Drop the basket. Death to the Empire! Show me what you Sorry. That the best you can do? Sorry. Can't beat me. All right. We need to find a way out of here. Where's Hedvar? Come on. Am I too fast for you? Apparently. Apparently I am too fast. An old storeroom. Grab anything you can, but let's keep moving. Yeah, let's keep moving. You fellows happen to... 
told me this. Armor 23. Armor 25. Weight 6. Weight 8. It's just worse. Just in time. These boys seemed a bit upset at how I've been entertaining their comrades. Don't you even know what's going on? A I want my lockpicks. A dragon, please. Don't make up nonsense. Although, come to think of it, I did hear some odd noises coming from over there. Come with us. We need to get out of here. You have no authority over me, boy. Didn't you hear me? I said the keep is under attack. Forget the old man. I'll come with you. Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this cage. Don't bother with that. Lost the key ages ago. Poor fellow screamed for weeks. See if you can get it open with some pain. Twelve lockpicks. We'll yes. Sure. Take all my things. Please. Grab what you can and let's go. There's no way out that way, you know. Let's not die here. Are we supposed to go? Where's the way out? Just give me a minute. Let me think. Death to the Empire! If you want to die, so be it. I will I tell you if I put you, you down. You fade I will be lost to the Lord. That's all you've got. No! Twenty nine. What the hell of the Empire? What are you doing? If I do this, be careful. This is what you want, on, huh? That's the best you can do. I will also, from time to time, use bow and arrow, but not put any perks into archery. Oh. Thirty. So sorry. Imperial bracers are better. Yeah, you're mine. All right. Let's see if we can find a way out. Let's see where this goes. Guess we're lucky. Didn't come down on top of us. 
We'd better push on. I'm sure the others will find another way out. Sure they will. We'd better try this way. Yep. Where are you? Oh. Frostbite Venom. It's pretty good. What the it's giant snakes? In the beginning. One, two, three. Pick no gold. Four, five, six. It's supposed to be seven. One, two, three. Did I get this one? Yes. Seven. Better stick together down here. There's a bear just ahead. See her? I'd rather not tangle with her right now. You might be able to sneak by. Just take We're not sneaking by. And watch where you step. Or if you're not, you can take this boat. Might take her by surprise. Not the sneaking type, huh? That's right. Freya is not the sneaking type. But she will sneak a bit. Just because she isn't stupid. My kill. That'll teach you to cross me. Okay. We have a longbow now. You are number two. You are number three. That's it. This looks like the way out. This I'll is the way out. Indeed. Yes, survival mode. Wait. Not waiting. Time is very precious. These ingredients, I can sell most of them. They are valuable. I will not use alchemy to make money. So, no salmon roll. And I cannot defeat these three bandits by myself. It's almost impossible. I tried. Yeah, but come here. So let's make use of Hedva one last now time. This is a surprise. Okay. Uh. 
Go away from me. Get away from me. Take headbound. Will you stop now? Just a scratch. Prepare to die. Oh. What you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? Oh. You ready to die today, huh? That's all you got. Thirty-two. Damn you! Yes, I want the standing stones. In a moment. Hello. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. You're wrong. It's a perfect time. Where are the wolves? One. Warrior. Of course. I want the cooked brass fish. And I'm taking the fishing rod. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. <clears throat> Let's hope everyone is dead. <sighs> nope, not everyone is dead. Absolutely not everyone is dead. Studded armor. How nice. Armor 25. Sorry guys, not interested.
Wow. Oh wow. Nope, nope, nope. There you can see how dangerous it is to play on legendary survival difficulty. That's two. Ah, never mind. A dragon! I saw a dragon! What? Did I see Feindall thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. Maybe. She's already mine, I keep telling him. But I would stay away from uh -huh. her if I were you. You and Feindall both like the same girl? Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood Trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. I see. Um, yes, two people spending time together never blossoms into courtship. Is that sarcasm? Yeah. I've heard better wisecracks from Orgnar. Ah, still you have a point. Camilla letting Feindel visit her isn't a good thing for me. Here, let me give you a particularly venomous letter. Say it's from Feindel. That should get Camilla to stop inviting the elf over. I don't know you. Why should I lie for you? I'd better get going. It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It, it flew right over the arrow. Actually, now. Please, please. right now, every food is good. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. And I've got better things to do than listen to more of your fantasies. You'll see. It was a dragon. It'll kill us all. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. For an old village. Woodcutter's axe. Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Okay, I have firewood to sell. Honest gold for honest work. And now we are friends. Today. Let's go to Alvar. Sigrid. We have company. Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. Uh, do you have any supplies I could take? Of course. Take what you need. But what's all this about? What are you two doing here?
Did I get a key? A dragon attacked Helgen and destroyed it. Hedvar and I escaped together. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. It shall be done. Uh, can I use your forge? I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Okay. Hadvar. All right. Then. We've been so worried let's about collect. you. Um, Come, you two. No, let's not hungry. collect. Sit down, and I'll get you something to eat. Let's collect in a moment. All right, that's it for episode one. Still level one. But Freya has already made huge progress in two-handed. Not enough to make any difference when it comes to fighting. She will have to earn the ability to hurt her enemies using the long hard road of training, smithing and two-handed to do damage, to be better protected by improving armor. This is the top priority to make this build playable. Not conquer dungeons, not get her first true kills, not dive into adventure, just training. She will have to become a blacksmith and a hunter, make money, make profit from smithing. A long and hard road. I have a detailed plan how to get there as quickly as I can without using cheats or exploits, but really by playing the game, because, let me tell you this, that is a lot more fun in the long run. Earning your success is deeply rewarding. I hope you enjoyed the start of this new series. I included some screens and some of you may know where I got the inspiration from. I think it fits perfectly to my style. The secret word this time is great sword. Have you ever played a Biden Hender build? If so, tell me about it in the comments. If I can, I will reply to each and every one. Freya will return on Thursday. See you around.